here, Fabulous Bulldogs, checking in with you guys today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's being safe out there. Before we get this video started, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so you guys can stay updated with more videos from Fabulous Bulldogs. Anyway, you guys, today's video, I want to give you guys an update on what we got going on over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. These last couple of weeks have been really, really, really exciting, you guys. As you may already know, we bred Shira to Maui. We did a surgical with her about a week ago. Fingers crossed, you guys, everything goes smooth and this girl takes. Um, I've been waiting a long, long time to breed to Maui. I just wanted to make sure that I had the right female to take to him. And with Maui's pedigree and Shira's pedigree, you guys, hopefully she takes. And I know that if, it, if she takes, they're gonna produce next level English Bulldogs, mini English Bulldogs. We also had a change of plans over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. Instead of breeding Starburst to Maui, we bred Starburst to my boy Fab, you guys. Man, the reason why I did that, you guys, is Fab, he has everything. He has the head, the rope, the bone, and not only that, you guys, is Fab is a triple carrier and he's a Merle. So by breeding Shira to Maui, I know they're all gonna be lilac tries, and if Starburst takes off a of, off of Fab, we'll have we'll have lilacs and we'll have merles over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. And not only that, you guys, I also get to see what my boy Fab can produce. He hasn't had any litters on the ground yet, and he's over a year old, so this would allow me to see what my boy Fab can produce over here at Fabulous Bulldogs and allow you guys to see what my boy Fab can produce because I always been talking about how cold Fab was, but we'll also get to see his production, so that's gonna be an added plus, you guys. So that's what we got going on over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. I'm down here in the dog room. I just got done cleaning up the dog room and everything, getting their, getting their kennels cleaned out, puppy pads, fresh water, uh, mopping the floors, and doing my daily routine, you guys. I do this every single day. Um, now that the girls are, are hopefully pregnant, um, I got them on their folic acid. I do that right after my girls, um, right after I'm done breeding them. Um, also, you guys, I got them on the Oxymates. Got them on the Oxymates. I put my dogs on this right after they're done breeding as well. So, man, hopefully, you guys, the girls are pregnant. Hopefully, Starburst takes from my boy Fab, and we'll get to see what Fab can produce. And hopefully, she retakes. Um, from Maui because man you guys I need a top stud over here at Fabulous Bulldogs I've been doing this for a long time you guys and what really solidifies you in the breeding world is if you can produce a top production So I know that with Shira's pedigree and Maui you guys if they take I'm going to get a top stud hopefully <laughs> It's good to, um, to bring it in to, to basically manifest whatever you want you guys But I, hopefully I get a top stud but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish up cleaning down here. Um, I'll let you guys see what I have to get done. I'm just going to keep you guys um, on the camera for a while while I go ahead and do my cleaning. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, I got my mop and everything. I just got to finish up a little mopping. I don't have that much mopping to do, just a little bit. Try to make sure that I keep the dog's areas as clean as possible, especially with my girls. Um, beginning heat you don't want them to get infections or anything like that so you want to make sure that you keep their areas as clean as possible sanitize their kennel clean up because anything can happen and when the dogs are in heat it does allow bacteria and things to get up in their uterus and things which can cause infection and you do not want that you guys it's a whole different headache so i'm going to go ahead and finish up my cleaning then i'll let fab and let starburst outside because right now I'm not letting Shira outside. She had a surgical and by her running and jumping and doing all that, you guys are getting messed up the healing process. And basically Starburst, when I did her surgical, she was jumping down the steps and her, her incision got a big bump underneath it, which was like an infection, uh, uh, abscess. So Shira, I got her still right now for another week. I'm gonna keep her still for two weeks. So not a lot of running around, not a lot of jumping. I just can't risk it, you guys. So let me go ahead and clean up this room, get this all finished, and then I'll be back to talk to you guys. What up, mama? What up, mama? What up, what up, what up, 
All right, you guys, so the dog room is clean. Floors are good. Dogs got fresh water in their bowls. There go my girl Starburst right there, you guys. Um, Starburst, I took her to the vet um, a couple weeks ago. And the vet said Starburst is super healthy. Um, what happened with her skin is just from her having puppies. Sometimes that happens. But other than that, she is looking great. What up, mama? Hopefully, you guys, this girl takes off my boy Fab, man. That's going to be crazy. Huh, mama? That's going to be crazy, mama? Huh? Are you pregnant, mama? <laughs> there go my girl Starburst. Let me go ahead and put her thing down so she stops jumping. Don't want her to be getting too excited. But we bred her to Fab, you guys. And like I said, Fab has chrome in his, in his pedigree as well. And um, Starburst is a bumped in chrome daughter. So hopefully, you guys, we have some Starburst and Fab puppies on the way. And as you guys know, my girl Shira, right there, she was bred to Maui, man. She's been showing a lot of good signs um, after having her surgical. So fingers crossed everything is smooth with her, man, because I'm, man, I hate this time, you guys, where you have to sit and you have to wait. And hopefully everything goes smooth, man. This time is it's it's frustrating, you guys. It's frustrating, but now we just gotta wait and hopefully this girl takes. So this is the dog room right here. This is the dog room. Look at all this stuff right here. This is all for the dogs. <laughs> uh, this is the dog room. Got their food right there and things. Um, all my cleaning stuff. And right here, this is my boy Fab. Look at my boy Fab, you guys. Fab, what up, buddy? What up, Fab? There go Fab right there. There go my boy Fab, big boy Fab. What up, man? What up, Fab? What up, man? I put a little cream underneath his nose right there. Look at that boy rope, man. Look at that rope on this boy, you guys. Look how big that boy rope is. I put a little bit of, um, what, what, man? What, man? You give me a five? You give me a five, Fab? Okay, okay, buddy, okay. Fab has such a great temperament, you guys. This boy is so loving and caring, man. So not only will um, they have beautiful puppies, hopefully they pass on the temperament because my boy Fab has a wonderful, wonderful temperament. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, Fab. Let's go, buddy. Look at this boy. Look how short this boy is, man. Look at my boy Fab. <laughs> what up, man? And like I said, man, if Starburst takes from my boy Fab, that stuff is that's going to be amazing. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Fab. He's so little and compact, you guys, but this boy has big dog features. Big dog features on a little dog. What up, man? What up, Fab? Come on, you wanna go outside? Let's go, come on, Fab, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Come here, Fab. Look at this boy, you guys. Man, so hopefully, like I said, Starburst takes from my boy Fab. I did three AIs, three AIs. So I know you guys wanted videos of me showing how to do AIs. Why you keep doing that, man? Showing how to do AIs, but I don't want to do that on YouTube because sometimes you'll get in trouble on YouTube for doing that. Stay still, man. Stay still. What are you doing, man? Stay still. You'll get in trouble on YouTube for putting up those type of videos, so I just don't want to do that. What up, man? What up, Dad? What up, daddy big boy? Daddy big boy. So, like I said, with Starburst being a lilac tri and Fab being a Merle, hopefully, and he's a triple carrier, you guys, hopefully we'll get some lilac tri Merles out of the breeding and things. But I love this boy. This boy, look at that head on him. Look at that head. Look at the rope. What up, man? What up, man? <laughs> what are you doing? But yeah, you guys, so man, I'm excited over here at Fabulous Bulldogs, you guys. I'm going to keep you guys posted with everything that we have going on over here at Fabulous Bulldogs, man. It's been an exciting two weeks by getting um, getting um, She-Ra surgical done and then getting um, and then doing the AIs on Starburst and things and just making sure that my girls and everything are healthy and are strong. So that way we have a healthy and successful litter over here at Fabulous Bulldogs, man. This will be my first time having two litters, you guys, because normally when I have two litters, normally when I have two litters, something goes wrong. One of the girls don't take or or something. They have an infection or something, man. Something always seems to go wrong every time I try to have two litters. So hopefully this time they take. And hopefully we get to see what my boy Fab can produce, man. I want to see what Fab can produce. 
You guys know I stand behind this boy, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He has the head. He has the bone. He has the rope. He has everything that you're looking for in a mini English Bulldog, man. But anyway, let me go ahead and let Fab outside, and I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. All right, you two. So we got Chanel out here. Got my boy Fab right here. He going crazy because Chanel, she's in heat. And we're not going to breathe Chanel this time around, you guys. I'm going to I'm gonna let her rest, especially after what happened to her the last time we bred her. As you guys already know, she had that infection and everything that almost killed her. So we're going to go ahead and let Chanel. We're going to skip this breeding with Chanel. Got Fab out here, you guys. So, man, you guys, we got a lot of big things going on over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. Um, like I said, in the next couple of months, I will keep you guys posted on everything that we got going on with Starburst and with um, She-Ra. Like I said, we took we took Starburst to Fab and She-Ra. We got her going to Maui, which, man... Both of those breedings are going to be insane if everything goes smooth and basically they take. And the reason why I say that, you guys, because when you're breeding these dogs, anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. You could, They could all be healthy and then you have the puppies and then you got to go through the whelping stage. Anything can happen during the whelping stage. Anything can happen while the female is pregnant. So that's the reason why these dogs cost so much money, you guys. It's a process. Breeding the dogs is only the first step and then you got to go through the whelping stage which is another um, which is another obstacle to get them to the two weeks and it's a it's a big process to produce these type of dogs and that's why they cost so much money you guys there's a lot of time and a lot of effort that goes into them and like i said to even breed um shira to maui was three thousand dollars it was a three thousand dollar stud fee to breed shira to maui plus the surgical and we don't even have any puppies on the ground yet you guys so basically man i have a lot on the line so hopefully it takes and hopefully everything goes smooth and we have some cold puppies on the ground over here at fabulous bulldogs it's been a long time coming look at this boy look at the structure on my boy fab man y'all sleeping on fab fab is open for stud he's open for stud if you guys are interested, make sure you guys hit me up, man. If you're looking for a, a dog with great structure, bone, head, merle, and short, compact, make sure you guys hit me up, man. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys a real quick video, give you a rundown of what we got going on over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. A lot of exciting things coming up in the future. Um, I want to say thank you guys for all your love and support. It really means a lot. want to say God bless and have a good day. Peace.